Hi guys, my name is Odyssey, and welcome to this little uh, introduction to my new series, The Talos Principle. Now, this is something that I recorded quite a while back. Um, I can't even remember actually when I started recording it, but it was just after I'd finished recording the end of Ori in the Blind Forest, and um, this is just the next thing that I wanted to play, so I, I started right away. Um, I recorded maybe six episodes or so, and then I... I just couldn't, I didn't have the time to produce them or, you know, edit them up or anything because uh, it was exam period at uni, so I became very, very busy very suddenly and I haven't been able to, to do much with the channel at all, really. So, now that they are done, all of my exams, uh, I am just editing up the footage now and I thought I'd just tag a little intro on to the beginning, uh, just explaining a couple of things. So, if you haven't heard of the Talos Principle, it's a, it's a very interesting game very uh, intellectually stimulating, I think is a good way of describing it. It's, um, it's, I'm not expecting it to get that many views, this series, and that's completely fine, because I'm, I'm mainly doing it just because I really enjoy it, and um, yeah, I, I'm under no illusions that this is a very different kind of game to be putting on the channel, and maybe uh, it'll get fewer viewers than usual, but uh, that's okay. It's, it's very kind of philosophical and uh, very, very interesting. It's a very interesting puzzle game. Uh, there's a lot of reading involved, which I didn't actually expect. There's quite a lot of uh, kind of diary entries, that kind of thing. Well, not diary ent entries, just kind of... Um, I don't know, there are lots of like data terminals around the place, and there's a lot of reading involved. Uh, but I hope you don't mind that. This is... if you're, if you're the kind of person who likes very kind of uh, intellectual, thought-provoking puzzle games, then you might want to to join me with this because it is a really fascinating game and um, I can't wait to to play more of it. This is, I'm recording this just, hopefully just before the first episode is coming out, but I've recorded six episodes so far and hopefully soon I'll be able to record some more. Uh, so yeah, just wanted to mention that. Uh, the other thing is I'm debating whether or not to add a webcam for future episodes. So that might be a thing for episode seven onwards. It might be a thing. Uh, it might it might come and go. It it depends. It's kind of difficult because I'm not the only person living here, so it, it becomes quite difficult to um, one, one to find the time to record properly and two to have the webcam as well. But I feel like this is a series that might might be good to have a webcam, but uh, but we'll have to see. And. Um, yeah, we'll mainly just have to see how, how people like this this series and whether you're enjoying it, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, I'm certainly enjoying it, and I hope you do too. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's go on into the Talos Principle. Hello, my name is Odyssey, and welcome to the Talos Principle. This is a new series, another new series that I have uh, I've started having just completed Ori in the Blind Forest, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give this game a go. It's uh, it's not at all like Ori in the Blind Forest. It's more like more like a cross between Portal and I don't I don't even know. It's kind of it's kind of like Portal. It's um it's a puzzle game, first person puzzle game that's very kind of uh, philosophical and um, it has kind of, it, it's very uh, concerned with melding religion and science in very interesting ways. Um, I haven't played much of it, I don't know too much about it. Uh, you can see it continue there, but I, I only stepped in for maybe five, ten minutes just to test that everything was actually working. Um, but yeah, so don't know much about this game, but I, it's, it's got absolutely glowing reviews, and I do love puzzle games, so I thought I'd give it a go. So let's head on in. Child program parameters. Starting child process. Ready. Yeah, you play a robot in this game. It's uh it's, it's very interesting. Whoa. Okay. Here we are. Behold, child. You are risen from the dust. 
and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. Okay, cool. So already you can you can see the uh, the melding of science and religion. Obviously, this very kind of godlike figure, and uh, the fact that I'm a robot. So very interesting, very very intriguing from, right from the get go. Uh, so yeah, let's head on in. Child program logic check. Okay, so this is this is a uh, energy barrier of some sort that I can't get through. I'm just basically going to whiz through up to the moment where I stopped, because I know all of these puzzles. It's no fun to play a puzzle game when you already know how to solve all of the puzzles. So this um, this jammer, as its name suggests, will jam. You can you can point it in a certain area, and it will. Oops. Whoa. Okay. Apparently you can't you can't take it back. Um, it will jam whatever it's pointing towards. So that was fairly easy. That was just to, just to uh, to show you the the logic of the game, the game mechanics, that kind of thing. So this is some sort of evil evil robot, and I can take the jammer and I can point it towards this robot, and it'll stop it dead in its tracks. I don't think you can do anything with it. That's just a it's just to disable it. Uh, and there's another one here, so. Okay, a turret, which obviously I won't be able to, uh, it'll stop me from walking through there, so I have to jam it, I'm guessing. It was a little while since I tested this game, so even though I have played these first couple of bits before, I, I can't quite remember how to do it. Whoa, there's a sprint button! You can go pretty fast, that's nice. All across this land, I have created trials for you to overcome. And within each, I have hidden a sigil. It is your purpose to seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. Cool. So I've got to go around collecting these sigils. Uh, just... Looking around, making sure I haven't forgotten anything. Look at these carvings on the wall. <laughs> Very nice. Oh dear. Where, where's your head? Where's your head, dude? <laughs> Are you missing something? Anyway. Um, okay, so I can't go in there yet. Is this a place that I can go? Wait. What's this? Okay, right, so that's what I need the sigils for. Only the two of us. Okay. So where have I got to get to? That's the question. Okay, I can see a turret there. Uh, oh, okay. For a second I thought that was some sort of turret. But no. So, I can jam this to get past it, but then this thing is going to shoot me. Like, straight away. Uh, okay. So can I grab the, this? No, it moves me out automatically when I try and do that. I wonder if I can... No, wait, that's that's not how you do it. I wonder if I can point it through the gate? No, that doesn't seem to work. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, can you actually get, get, jump over? No? No, it doesn't look like it. That's a shame. <laughs> so, if I just... Yeah. 
Yeah, that's just going to kill me. Okay. So you can't just run the all the way through. The guardians of this land may harm you, but do not resent them. For they are my servants, and they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Now then. You have to place these things on surfaces, I believe, or like or on the ground. Can you hit multiple things? Nope, doesn't look like it. Ah, point that the other way, which keeps that open. And now you open this, and you can use this to disable the turret. There we go, we figured it out. Alright. Uh, now we take this the one. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. They are the sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. Okay, sorry about that pause. I was just uh, configuring a few options to make the game run a little bit smoother and uh, make Fraps agree with it a little bit more. So, are we... is this... this actually isn't one of the sigils in the top left-hand corner. Am I supposed to go through here yet? Peephole. Am I supposed to be here? I don't know. Wait, no, I'm obviously... What's that about? Why is this here? Ah, I see. Okay. So the purple things allow me, but not objects, not the jammers. Okay, that's good to know. This is already opening something. Apparently I've already got something trapped there. Oh, right, of course, yeah. <laughs> I forgot that I'd already trapped that. Um, okay, so this is where I want to go. If I get too near that thing, then it's going to blow me up or something. Uh, so... Whoa, run. That frightened me. God. Um, no, i tell you what we need to do. We need to point this here first. Then take this out. And then move this here. Okay, that'll work. And now we've got both of them under our control. And we can just pick this guy up. Beautiful. Yeah, that's that's like a separate thing. You will not need this sigil to open the gate to my temple. But it may serve you in times to come. Alright, awesome. Cool, we're getting ahead of the game. Uh, where is it that we actually need to go now? Is it... is... is, uh, this? These are all X's. Ah, oh, this is what we've already done. Okay, cool. So now we need to go... Here. Yeah, okay. Great. A switch out of reach. Okay, so that is another turret. And here is the jammer. Is there anything around here? No. Uh, so obviously we can jam this. Okay. Jam this, go up here. Oh, look. I assume... Yeah, that turned the turret off, which means we can take this, and that remains off, and we can use it to halt this guy. Oop, that was a bit close for comfort. Okay, it starts off pretty nice and, and simple and easy, just to well done, lure you child. into... Lure you Only in? That's not the right word. Is just to teach you the game. Let you know what you're in for. Uh, this is... Mm. Well, hold on a second. Have I, have I actually been in both of these? Ooh. Striding the beaten path. That guy is getting very close. There we go. Okay, he's turning back. Where do I need to go? To get... Ooh. 
need to get this guy. Okay, that guy can just keep going around there. Is there... is it just the one jammer? Maybe I need to wait for this guy to move past and do it quickly. Like... Oh no, that's... I know what I need to do. Damn. Messed it up. <laughs> so they don't follow you. They just... It's, it, they basically explode on you if you get too near them. There we go. So I've trapped that guy in there now. Ooh, yep, trapped that guy in. Let's... Actually, we need this. There we go. And that's all three sigils for this area. My temple awaits you, child. Go forth. Go forth? Uh, which way is forth? Here? No. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. Okay, cool. Ooh. Oh, okay, it's a little... <laughs> a little kind of matching shape puzzle thing. Uh, okay, that's pretty decent. So this is about as far as I've been. In fact, I, you know, I don't know any of this from now on. Well, that's very... Oh, that is awesome. That's very, uh, Big Brother-esque. Network inaccessible, eh? Milton Library Assistant unresponsive. <laughs> Hello, world. Nope. Uh, what's this? Help. Welcome. Okay. Welcome to the team. To Alexandra Drennan by Nadia Sarabai. Hi again. I'm sorry if I was a little odd at the meeting. I know you were nervous, but the truth is uh, that so was I. This may be hard to believe, but you intimidate me. You're so young, you've already accomplished so much. If the situation wasn't so grim, I might even be jealous. Smiley face. There's also something I wanted to clarify. I realize that, nominally speaking, I'm head researcher here, but this is your project and everyone will respect that. And yes, I know you're not used to working like this, but as of today, you're in charge. No pressure. <laughs> Let's do this, Nadia. Okay. So, Drennan. Alexandra Drennan is in charge of this project. That might be interesting to know. Or useful to know. Uh, Athena.text. Athena in the Garden of the Hesperides. Blah 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 did not trust them, but they moved with such grace, such nobility, that it was hard not to follow them further into this strange garden of gears and cogs. They led her to a place where the crown of the brass trees seemed to grow together forming a kind of chamber strangely reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree made of bright blue steel, and upon this tree grew a single golden apple. This apple, the nymphs said in unison, their eyes aglow, confers the, gifts, uh, the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes, and not a few villains, have come to claim it, but all faltered in the final step. For you must know that deathlessness reveals the mortality of the world, and true wisdom its unending folly. Who would take this burden upon themselves? Some say that Heracles functioned load, a bunch of numbers, gazing upon the stars and wept. Okay, very interesting. Very cool. Apparently there's going to be, I didn't realise there was going to be quite so much reading in this game, but that's completely fine with me. Figure it out. Subject F6E. The way I see it, the world doesn't come with a manual. You've got to figure it out for yourself. A bit here, a bit there, put it together, try to make sense of it. I'm pretty sure there is a truth, but that doesn't mean everyone who claims to know it really does. 
Then again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. We live in an amazing world, and searching for the truth can be a real adventure. Plus, it's good for the brain. Anyway, just some rambling thoughts from your old man. Oh, okay. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're young, you've got lo loads of time to figure it all out. Love, Dad. Okay, but who's that for? Who's that to? Was that, f was that to, um, who was it? Drennan. Alexandra Drennan? Was it Drennan's dad? I don't know. Uh, let's try run Milton Library Assistant. Loading. Plain language interface. Hello guest, how can I help you today? Uh, help. <laughs> okay. Subject, verb, object, syntax. Can you help me? What would you like help with? <laughs> Describe your functions. The Milton Library System is designed primarily to sort and classify data in the library archive. Secondarily, it facilitates user interaction with library resources via an intuitive human language interface. It also provides powerful networking and troubleshooting functions. Okay, so it's kind of like a library database slash Facebook. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what was the first word for the last sentence you wrote? Okay. <laughs> what are these terminals? What is the current status of the library archive? 47 million resources in archive. Taking up 5.4 petabytes. Petabytes? 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 I don't know. Of disk space. 30 billion photos. <laughs> the entire internet in 2003. Wow. However, the majority of library resources are corrupted or invalid. 10.69 gigabytes of uncorrupted resources are indexed. Interesting. What caused the data corruption? That's exactly what I was about to ask myself. Progressive data corruption is inevitable in any system over time. Additionally, a large number of inconsistencies were detected during sorting, leading to greater than average data invalidation. How much time has passed in order for that much stuff, that much data to become corrupt? How long has the system been running? Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, so a long time then. Forget the library, can you respond to queries on the outside world? I doubt he'll be able to respond to that. Yeah, you can ask- okay. You can ask about other topics, but my responses may be limited. Who is Elohim? The noun for god or gods in modern ancient Hebrew. Okay, what am I? <laughs> ah. I'm liking this game already. Uh, where am I? You're currently in a support session with the MLA Human Language Interface module. Your library archive session may be resumed at any time. Okay, cool. You're not being very helpful, though. But then again, I'm asking very difficult questions that you're not really programmed to do. Uh, what are these terminals? They provide access to the library resource archive. Fair enough. How old are the library archives? 1995. 1st of July, 1995. That is surprisingly close to my date of birth, which is kind of strange. To 27th of June, 203F. Okay. Are you able to take offense, you pointless contraption? <laughs> Go on, save it to last. You cannot insult me. <laughs> wow, that's kind of ominous. Okay, exit. Okay. Have I got anything else that I can do? I've already run MLA. Help. I think I've I've finished everything here. Let's exit. New text is added to journal. Press tab to access. Okay, cool. So that, that just saves everything that I've already read. And that is bright. Look at that lens flare. Do you guys see that? That is... JJ Abrams would be proud. Alright. So, onward. Can I zoom in? No, it doesn't look like it. Step into the light, child, and my temple will be revealed to you. Mm, okay, I, can I go through here? I want to go through here. 
My child, you do not need to collect all sigils at once. But I want to. You are free to return to this place whenever you choose. Mm, fine. Let's do what he says. Good old Elohim. Ooh, lots of binary. Okay. You walk now upon the stones of my temple, whence many gates lead. And know that I have other temples, for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass. And all these worlds I made for you. Okay. So... So I need to... I feel like these are some... these are like power-ups, maybe? Something that I, I need to get through these uh, little puzzle... puzzle rooms, I guess, to unlock. So maybe we should do that now. One was where I came from. Let's go to two, then. Is there something over there? Let's, let's just have a quick check. And what is this? Interesting. There are mysteries in my garden. Hidden roads and secret gates. If you dedicate yourself to understanding them, you may join the host of messengers. Okay. Good to know. So they're kind of like challenge rooms, I guess. Okay, that's the third thing. Ah. Ah, oh, nice. This is this is very useful. This is only A. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a big game. Lots of puzzles. Um, okay. So, well, I do have I have a, I have three more from from one that I that I haven't yet achieved. So maybe should we do this quite chronologically? Or alphabetically, I don't know. Um, this one is okay. This, yeah. Let's go into Trio Bombasticus then. Whoop. Okay. Well, you guys can't hurt me at all. Not while there's a barrier between us. Okay. Now, if I get it, get it to some distance, and then. Chap him inside here, and then I run past when he's quite far away. Oh, that's very frighteningly close. And if I do the same here, and here. Okay. Now I'm perfectly safe to go along here. Oh, that was easy. I was expecting it to be much harder. Oh well. Off we go. Is there anything else hidden around? I did say that there were lots of different hidden mysteries and, and different things, so have to be uh, be extra careful. Make sure I haven't missed anything. Okay, I've missed something over here. Where do I have to go? 